Hey there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you're new, welcome. My channel is all about getting the most out of the exercises we get from Joe Pilates and using them to the betterment of our own bodies or also the bodies of our clients if we are teachers. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today continues the short series on pre-Pilates exercises in the system and where are we going? What skills are we learning in the pre-Pilates that's going to pay off uh, over time as we get into more complicated exercises? And if you missed the first installment last week, I will include it in the description box below. And today's pre-Pilates exercise is an old favorite. I'm sure you've learned it along the way in your Pilates career uh, or in your Pilates practice, and it is the half roll down. Usually the half roll down is perhaps someone's first experience of the roll up on the mat. So a little bit of a spoiler alert, that's one of the places we're gonna be visiting. But first let's take a look at the half roll down. I'm just gonna put away my hair and if you're enjoying this pre-Pilates series and you'd like to see other uh, series like this, do let me know in a comment below and we can have a chat about all kinds of pre-Pilates exercises. So the half roll down is going to approximate kind of a lot of exercises as you'll see during this video. Usually you start with your feet pressing on the mat, uh, your legs bent, and sitting up as tall as you can. And you can decide whether it seems helpful to have your feet and legs together or if it serves you better to have them a little bit apart. And both are, are useful and both have their you know, pluses and uh, challenges, let's say. So I'm going to start with my legs together and I'm going to put my feet at a place where I can imagine that I am standing on my feet, that I'm able to kind of press on the mat and feel like all of my body is sort of standing. And it's a little bit of an imagination, but deciding where to put your feet can make a big difference. So I kind of feel like I've found a spot where I can feel my stomach kind of trying to stand on my feet. And I'm gonna lift everything that I'm sitting on away from where that standing is happening. And then as I pull my center in and up, I'm gonna to try to maintain that feeling of standing as I go backward. And now maybe I get as far as my arm getting straight. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna to continue to stand and I'm gonna press on my feet and lift my body taller and longer, which will result in me coming forward. And you may be noticing that, you know, my back doesn't look very round. And often we think that this exercise is a round exercise. But I want to make sure that I'm not sacrificing any lifting and lengthening just to make a specific shape with my body. Whew. And you know, if you're a proficient in your workout, you're an advanced practitioner, give these exercises a try because they're, they're not easy to do. So I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to lift very tall and I'm going to just look into my stomach and keep standing on my feet and all of the back of me from the top of my back all the way to where my foot is on the mat is the standing part. And then I'm going to lift my whole trunk up to bring myself forward. So now as people get better and better at this exercise, they may get to the point where they can still feel like they're standing and they roll all the way down. And then they've got that feeling of standing so that as they pick their head up, they're gonna to continue to stand. They're gonna lift their body longer instead of shoving it forward in this exercise. I'm gonna do one more like that. So keep that feeling of standing. This is not easy for me to do. So if it seems hard to you, please don't feel bad. It's, <laughs> it's a no joke. So now I'm gonna continue to stand. I'm gonna lift my whole trunk from way underneath. That's the hard part. And then I'm gonna come forward. Okay, so you can kind of see 
see how this is leading us to the roll-up. And that is, I find, the, the biggest reason for this pre-Pilates to exist is to help people over time go to a more full expression of the roll-up exercise. And it just gives the lower body the best situation or circumstance in which to participate <laughs> in this exercise. And then over time, you may do it, it may morph into something that looks much more like the roll-up. <laughs> because, because it is the roll-up. <laughs> You know, and then at the end, of course, you add a pole and you add your strap and there we are at the roll up. So that is a really lovely pre Pilates exercise to build strength and confidence in the roll up. Okay, so probably just looking at the starting position of the half roll down, you can already figure out a lot of other exercises that would be helped by these skills. So we're gonna take it to the reformer and we're gonna look at some of our meat and potatoes series, the stomach massage, the short box, and also the teaser. The teaser on the mat can certainly be helped by the half roll down, just like you saw for the roll up. And I looked at the teaser uh, and pre Pilates and how we get there in the first installation of this series. So today's installation, I'm going to look at how to take this pre Pilates exercise to the teaser on the reformer, which sometimes can feel like it's sort of a totally different uh, animal than our regular teasers on the mat. So stay tuned, come with me, and I'll be back right on the reformer. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, here we are at the reformer. And we're gonna look at, I guess, three of the usual suspects that I find can take great help from our half roll down pre Pilates exercise. So the first of these uh, is the stomach massage series. So I'm just gonna add my pad. I usually start the stomach massage series on three springs. And I'm gonna kind of breeze into the half roll down position as I set up for stomach massage. So, I'm going to sit, you know, reasonably close to the edge, not on it and not too far away for me. And I'm going to just put my feet on the frame for a moment so I can hold on to the carriage, remember what it felt like to stand on my feet and be lifted. And then I'm going to try to keep that lift. I'm a little bit stiff, so I'm going to keep that lift and kind of help my feet up onto the bar without having to like kind of lean back to do it. Yeah, you know the MO, right? The lean back, put your feet up, then you have to sit up all over again. So, so I kind of find that if I can just keep my lifting and get my feet up there, then I have a better chance to stand now just on the balls of my feet. So it's a little bit more challenging than the half roll down, of course. And then I'm just gonna keep that feeling of standing on my feet as I take myself through the action. And this first one, you know, is that lifted curve, just like we did on the mat. And then for the second one, I'm going to be a little bit more upright in the top of my back, which is going to help the top of my back send itself down to the balls of my feet. And then finally, I'm going to take a spring off. So I have two springs now. I did scoot back a little, so I'm going to sit a little closer. And I'm going to take it into this one where I'm just standing and lifting with a little less assistance for my upper body, just kind of like I was on the mat. And then my twisting, of course, is going to really challenge the half roll down connection to the standing body. Okay, so some tips to help you if that first position is kind of unmanageable, doesn't feel like the half roll down, 
can't seem to feel like you can do anything but fall backward. You've got some options. You could certainly, depending on who you are, if you're taller, bigger, or stiffer, you may like for a time to visit this exercise in second gear. And second gear is going to give you a space, a little bit of bigger space between the foot bar and the end of the carriage. So it's going to give you a little bit more space to sit back a little further. And before you go to the second gear position, you might just see what it feels like to sit back a little bit already. As long as you don't feel like it makes you have to go like forward or make your arm super forward of your shoulder, you can still get the benefit of the exercise by sitting a little further back. And it will feel like they'll have to roll down probably a little bit more. And then over time, you can kind of close up that space again where you get, when you get more skill and you're still able to kind of feel that standing on the foot bar sort of feeling. This exercise I find invaluable because you actually get this very supportive foot bar to have your feet on. Even though, you know, so you saw you're on the balls of your feet, your heels are lifted, it's not the same as the feet on the mat, but now we're going to go to a series where <laughs> you don't get that help at all. You have to kind of manufacture it. Maybe it's one that you don't care for as much, um, same way that I haven't cared for it as much, but we're going to go to the short box series. Yes, please hold your applause until the end of the video. <laughs> so I've got two springs still. I've got my foot bar down. I'm going to put the headpiece down and I'm going to put my handles in the well. And then I've got a pad. I'm going to have my box and my pole and I'm going to add them to the reformer. So already you can see some parts of it are going to be familiar, still be sitting. And here's the part that's going to be a little different. Because now you really don't have anything to press your feet on to work on that standing body. And I find that that's one of the pitfalls in this exercise series is that we focus so much on what's happening above us that our foundation and what needs to be working the most uh, kind of gets just along for the ride where it can be, you know, creating a full body workout here in these exercises is going to go uh, pay off all around the studio. All right. So imagining that you're still standing on your feet and lifting just like the half roll down. I'm going to go back a little. And I'm using the same strategy that I did with the half roll down because you can see it's pretty much the same exercise. Now there's just a box involved and no mat. <laughs> so I'm going to go back as much as I can feel like I'm still standing and then I'm going to come back up. And this can apply, the half roll down can apply to all of the exercises on the short box. This one is just in my understanding, uh, in my body, the, the most similar. And the one that I find hardest to make seem like the roll up. Sitting on the box really kind of disconnects my body uh, from working all together. Maybe you're like that as well, but sometimes a seated position is not so helpful. So I'm going to do one more and I'm just going to keep standing down from the top of my back and lifting, lifting, lifting long away, really tugging on that strap. And then maybe over time I go all the way back. And then I come all the way back up. And then I'm just going to go through the other positions just to kind of find them in a similar way. I'm going to do two more. And really use the standing feeling to lengthen and lift yourself away, which will bring you forward. Sometimes there can be a little bit of a moment of panic back there, and then we kind of just shove ourselves forward, however. And then, you know, the side bend takes us off course a little bit, but it's really the same thing. You're standing, you're lifting, and you could exhale when you bend to the side to make it feel a little bit nicer. I'm going to do one more set. And 
And then you can find the twist in the tree in the same manner. So you're standing, you're lifting, and you're just gonna make sure that you don't go anywhere away from where you're not gonna find the whole body standing on its feet. Okay. And then the tree, again, you gotta imagine a lot. Now you're standing, but your legs are straight out in different places and you're still lifting yourself away and you're trying your best to stand on your feet. And then over time, you'll be able to lengthen and stand on your feet even as you take it into this more extended position. I'm just gonna do the other side. And then we'll take our half roll down one more place. And you'll be amazed at how much, um, if you're using your lower body efficiently, uh, you'll notice how many more muscles you have at your disposal to come up. Okay, so we're gonna visit one more exercise on the reformer before we go to the Cadillac for a big finish. And that exercise is the teaser. And in the first installation of this series, I looked at a one leg teaser on the mat that very much resembles the half roll down and also just our normal mat teaser. But now we're gonna look at the one on the box, which has a lot more going on, a moving platform, handles in each hand. You start, you know, not flat on the mat, but, you know, in an extension. So there's a lot more stuff going on. And we're gonna look at how the half roll down can be built into building up your teaser. So let me just switch my apparatus. I'm gonna put one spring on in the middle. The straps can go away. And the pole and the pad can go away. And then I'm just going to switch my box to the long box. And we're not really going in the order of the reformer in any way. But we sort of are going in an order of, you know, how you might experience the exercises over time. You probably learn your stomach massage in your short box well before teaser on the long box. Okay. Let me get my handles. <laughs> So, one of the uh, best ways to start this teaser is sitting up in a position which will very much resemble the half roll down. So I'm gonna sit on the front of the box, not too much on the edge. I'm gonna stand with my feet on the frame. And at first, I'm just gonna get comfortable with standing on my feet and then kind of experimenting in a balance of rolling like a ball and seeing if I can recreate that standing on my feet in this balanced position. And this might be hard for people to do, especially because they know if they pull, you know, if they get scared, they might pull the straps and then the carriage moves. So there's kind of a lot of built-in booby traps in this exercise. So getting someone to stay here and not panic, maybe with challenge. And then you could put, you know, of course rest. And so maybe that happens for a while and they stand on their feet and maybe they can move their arms and stand on their feet a little bit. And so they get used to the carriage moving. And so maybe after a while, you know, you're working with them all over the studio, maybe they can get that feeling with straight legs so that they can feel like they stand in their feet as they come to their balance, they can use their stomach and their standing to get to this position. And maybe they stay here, they stay here and control it as much as they can, the carriage closes, and then they put their feet down. So that may go on for a while. I'm gonna do sort of the full expression of that 
and then we'll take it down to lying on the box. So they're gonna use their stomach, stand on their feet and come to the position. And then maybe they do this as a next step. So they get used to the carriage moving and their arms go up and down three times. And then the carriage comes in, the arms come down, and they rest their feet. Okay, so that's going all super swimmingly. They're great at it, they sit up, they do their up part of the teaser with the, arms, with the arm lowering and lifting. Once that's pretty manageable, then they can learn how to roll down. So they'll start standing up, sorry, sitting up. They'll use their straps and their standing to come to the position. And then they're gonna roll their body down using the straps to kind of pull away from. And they come all the way down. And they may not be able to get back up at this point, but you can certainly sit up and start again and do three teasers where you do the sitting up part and you finish each one by rolling down. And then over time, you can add in the rolling up from lying down but you've built in all of that use of their lower body already. So it'll help you not let them kind of cling to the straps and try to do the entire exercise with their upper body, which often when we get things in our hands, the straps, the foot bar for the long stretch series, that's the part of the body that wants to like do the whole exercise. I don't, I don't know about you, but that's what happens to me. Maybe that happens to you too. Okay. So let's see what it looks like if they are lying down and they're working their full teaser. So in this position, you're going to kind of imagine that you're standing on your feet. You're going to bring your head up and you're going to use your body to stand you up in the exercise. Your arm is connected and so that it comes up as well. And then you would do what you do. Over time, you may add different variations. And then you can use the tension of the spring by keeping your arms forward to create something to pull yourself away from and stand on, which makes it feel much more like the roll. So I hope that you found this helpful. These are three exercises that um, can really use a strong foundation when you're putting them on the reformer. So people may do exercises all around the studio before they experience the full expression of the teaser, the stomach massage, and the short box series. So now let's take this exercise, the half roll down to one more place. We're gonna look at a standing exercise at the Cadillac for a big finish. I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so now we've arrived for our big finish. Here at the Cadillac, we're gonna look at an exercise that takes you into the same position as the half roll down and really takes full advantage of the standing position that you've cultivated in your half roll down on the mat and the roll up, take it to the reformer and all of the exercises we looked at on the reformer. Now we have a big finish. Oh, and you know, you could use the rollback bar uh, in a little bit lower angle and you can also use the two separate arm springs. So I'm gonna use actually the two separate arm springs. And this is the standing squats. I'm going to have my feet in the same position that we started in, way back at the half roll down. And I'm going to set up my distance to be 90 degrees with my arms and the spring in tension. Not engaged yet, but taut. And then I'm just going to stand on my feet and lift my trunk just like I did when I was doing the half roll down. I'm going to stand on my feet to come up. And then I'm going to stand on my feet to reach past my ankle. I'm going to do two more. I'm going up and standing into the mat, into the floor. I'm going to do one more. I'm going up to go down. And you could kind of keep your arms extended and keep the reach in that way too. And that was so fun, I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> so 
I hope you enjoyed that whirlwind tour from pre Pilates, the half roll down, all the way to the standing squats. You can advance the standing squats further to a one leg squat, of course. And thank you so much for watching. If you have questions about this series or a pre Pilates exercise that I have not mentioned that you would like to have featured in a video like this, let's chat about it in the comments. Do become a subscriber. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified every time there's a new video. I publish videos every week. And thank you, thank you so much. I love chatting with you guys and the time that we spend together. I thank you so much for watching the videos. Have a great workout and I will see you next time. Bye!